So Roblox has a really big problem right now. Roblox YouTubers are randomly getting banned. Roblox developers are randomly getting banned. Even regular Roblox players like yourselves are randomly getting banned off the platform. So what exactly is going on here? Well, this actually all started a few days ago. You see, there's this YouTuber called Chase Rooney. He makes a bunch of Roblox news videos over on his channel. And three days ago, he uploaded a video called I Got Terminated on Roblox. Now, we actually already talked about his ban in a previous video, but ever since I released that video, and ever Ever since he released his video, this problem has gotten really, really bad. Real quick, let's see what Chase has to say on the situation. Here we go. Okay, so I made like a whole recording like two days ago about this, but then I just scrapped it. You know, I was like, that wasn't good enough. I don't think I went into big enough details, but uh, let me explain Makes exactly sense. what's going on. So if you somehow missed the last video, I literally got banned, like yeah. completely terminated off Roblox a couple days ago. Like, and I'm not talking about like a seven day ban, a one day ban. No, I, w and I went on Roblox and I was permanently deleted, like account deleted deleted. That's and bad. it was because I was promoting or creating inappropriate things on Roblox. Okay. Yeah, for the people that don't know, his band message said he was promoting inappropriate stuff, which obviously I thought he would do that. He's a pretty popular YouTuber. That'd be a bad idea. Apparently, that's what the band note said. And, and that's the only information I really had. They didn't put any reason. They kind of just said, hey, you did something bad. We're banning you. And it yeah. took a little while for me to kind of understand exactly why I got banned. I started looking around on Twitter and I noticed that a lot of my games that I uploaded got banned before I did. So I started looking a little bit more into it and uh, i started to realize that my games got banned and my games getting banned got me banned so i kind of had like a reason or i kind of had something to kind of like chew on you know what i mean but okay. first i got unbanned okay i asked some people if they could help me with this and see exactly why i was banned and if i can get unbanned and uh, obviously i didn't do anything so i got unbanned you know roblox had me doubting myself i was like did i accidentally do something like i don't know like why did they permanently ban me but anyways i got unbanned and then i started checking out some other things so this thing uh, this part i did not mention in my last video i did actually i think i might have but i actually got two messages on my roblox account that actually told me that my games got deleted let me show you so here's the first message as you can see content against community okay let's pause this for a second content against community standards the following content is no longer available on roblox because it violates our community standards the content was his roblox game fling yourself beta and it got deleted for inappropriate content okay standards the following content is no longer allowed on roblox and as you can see this message was sent at 1 50 a.m which by the way my account was deleted at 8 a.m so there's a seven hour difference between this game getting deleted if we actually also okay. go back we can see i have another message from 1 30 a.m where they actually got another game of, uh, of mine banned and this so means so his roblox games are getting banned and then like seven hours later his actual roblox account is getting banned and this is happening to a bunch of people okay all right even more curious because both of my games got banned within 10 minutes and then i also got word that these games were supposed to have back doors that's what i was told by the people that unbanned me so like the people actually from roblox told me that there was backdoors in my game for the people that don't know what a backdoor is it's essentially like a hidden script or like a virus script that is well unknowingly put into your game let's say you put like a free model in your game and it has like a backdoor virus script in it well then that script could then allow hackers access to your game that's what a backdoor is anyway here's the crazy part right here listen but here's the catch i didn't find any backdoor but you know what he didn't find any backdoors in his game so his roblox games were banned for inappropriate content even though he didn't put inappropriate content in the games. Roblox says it's from a backdoor allowing hackers into the game, but he didn't find any backdoors. So what's going on here? Well, that leads us to this Twitter post. It's a Twitter post by the Roblox Trading News Twitter account, and it says, warning, there is a false termination method going around right now where users are joining public games on alt and breaking the terms of service and then reporting the user's account to get them terminated. And then they uploaded a screenshot of another Roblox account and another roblox game also getting terminated so quick recap here according to this tweet users are joining public games on all accounts they are breaking the terms of service and then they report the game to roblox which then gets the game and the user terminated they said here's a video of the exploiter getting someone's account terminated so this is from the perspective of the exploiter here let's go ahead and take a look so this is this is a game and then the other was the account so the game has been content deleted here's the account they're going to refresh i assume the account is also also going to be content deleted it is there it is and i guess this is their trading 
profile. It looks like it's also, yep, content deleted. This player's account has been terminated. Okay. Now, they also uploaded a video on how they're doing it, but I can't show the video because it is very inappropriate and I would get in big trouble with YouTube. But what I can do is read this Roblox dev forum post about how this exploit actually works. This guy said, I'm sure some of you have heard about the easy trick that people are using to get games falsely deleted and thus getting the owners terminated as a result. The real issue with this is the fact that you can't do anything about it. Essentially, what they do is they make two alt accounts and they join a server and execute not safe for work C-frame animations through a level six to level seven exploit and then report the game for 18 plus content. Now, real quick for the people that don't understand exactly what that means, essentially these exploiters will make a few alt accounts. They'll take the alt accounts into your game. They'll then use hacking scripts and exploit scripts in order to make those alt accounts do inappropriate animations. And then they use other alt accounts to mass report your game, probably bot accounts, to mass report your game for inappropriate content. And then what happens is it takes about 20 minutes for a Roblox staff agent to join in game. And once they're in, they see the inappropriate animations. And since they see the inappropriate animations, they then ban the game and the owner. So even though it's technically not your game that has the inappropriate animations, it's the exploiters, it's the hackers doing it. When the moderator joins the game and sees people doing inappropriate stuff in your game, they just assume it's your game. And so they ban your game and your account as a result. Which games are the most vulnerable? Well, simple answer, the ones that don't get any players or barely any players. And then he actually uploaded a very interesting screenshot here. It's actually this screenshot right here. It's a bunch of badges inside a random player's inventory. Now, this random player is actually this user here called Saul Team. And what's interesting here is if you scroll on down to their badges, click see all to see all their badges. Here's all the badges they have on the account. As you can see, it's the same page as the screenshot. Now, what's interesting about these badges is that these badges are actually the welcome badges for games that are targets. For example, you'll notice that this badge right here is by content deleted. Here's the badge right here. If we go to the game, we can actually see it is content deleted by a user that also got content deleted. In fact, this isn't just a user. It's literally an entire Roblox group. Here's another badge from another game. If we click on the user, oh, look at that. His account's been terminated. But what about this one right here? It's an entirely different game, entirely different badge. Let's click on the owner and terminate it. Let's try this one here. Click on the owner and terminate it. So I've never actually seen this before, but what appears to be happening is these exploiters are making alt accounts, maybe even bot accounts, and then they're going in and getting badges for the games that they're targeting. So like, for example, all these games right here. And then once they have those targets, they'll send the bot accounts in and then get those games mass reported and banned. Now, it looks like Roblox is at least somewhat aware of this because the only friend this guy has, well, his account got banned. And if we go to the dev forum post, we can actually scroll down and see that Roblox has actually locked it themselves. They've closed it. It was actually closed by this person here called 23 Talisman, who's on the developer engagement team. So I assume Roblox is aware of this. But until this problem does get fixed, how can you protect yourself? Well, there's not actually that much you can do besides one thing. So this right here is actually the profile of one of my Roblox alt accounts. And if we go on over to creations, we can see here's the only game on my account. For the people that don't know, whenever you make a Roblox account, you actually get assigned a default Roblox game. If we join into this game, you'll see it's actually the default Roblox place. Here it is right here. Everybody knows what this place looks like. And well, as we can see from this page here, it is completely public. So here's what you do to protect yourself. You go to your profile, you go to your creations, look for any games that are public. I only have this one here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go up here to the three dots, the triple dot right here. I'm going to click on the option that says configure this experience. We're going to click that. And then that's going to bring us to the page where we can configure the game right here. You're going to see privacy. It is on public. We want to make sure it is set to private. Once it's set to private, you just click save. Changes have been saved. And now if we go back to our Roblox profile and click on creations, you can see the game is no longer there. And well, if the explorers can't get into your Roblox game, well, they can't exploit you and you can't get banned. It's really that simple. Now, I doubt that most people need to worry about this. At the moment, they just seem to be targeting YouTubers, developers, etc. If you're just an average Roblox player, they're probably not going to come after you. But if you want to take the extra precautions and private your game, you can certainly do that. But anyway, that is the news for today. In the famous words of Roblox TikTok, stay safe out there.